let's get into the show. Let's get into these topics. All right. Um, Fellas, Brooklyn's bling shop, Lamore Whitehead, took to Instagram Live to show off his prayer closet, which was filled with designer clothes and shoes. We have a video. This is my prayer closet. And um, one would think that, wow. Now, if you remember, just weeks ago, Whitehead was robbed of over $1 million in jewelry in the middle of his live stream service. What are your thoughts on Bishop Whitehead showing off his lavish lifestyle? Uh, who wants to go? Who wants to take this first? Um, you know what? He's trolling y'all at this point. He's straight up trolling. This is, com this is completely ass backwards, and this is public relations going in the wrong direction. If you are coming under scrutiny for being lavish, people are accusing you for stealing the church's money. People are accusing you of being super flashy. The last thing you want to do is show off your prayer closet, which is larger than most people's houses in New York. You know what I'm saying? It's tone deaf. It screams, aha, I got y'all. Y'all mad. Stay mad. And again, this is just, in my opinion, not representative of a man cut, cut of the cloth. Like you just, you know, and again, not saying that pastors and preachers and people from the church should be condemned to a life of, of being destitute, but this just is not right. And I take exception with the fact that his closet looked better than his church. And I did research this and that suit, that Balenciaga Gucci suit is fake, allegedly. I looked it up. I looked up the design, uh, the actual on the Gucci website, Gucci Balenciaga. I tried to look for it. I don't know if he's trolling us with the suit, but it's like the things, it just seems like the things he values are the surface things. And I would like to hear more about his teachings, his saving of people, his goodwill. Al, I know you know fashion. What do you think about that suit? Listen, I like the way the suit look, out, look on him now, but in this case, I just feel like the pastor is pimping his prayer closet at this point. And once again, like I said before, this makes it hard for me to push back when you and Funky make arguments about the Black church and its leaders looking suspect in situations, because after him showing us this, this prayer closet, it makes him look superficial. It makes him look suspect exactly like you guys said. But let me tell you, this isn't every Black church. I just want to make that very clear. All Black churches are not this way. The thing that upset me the most, though, is that a prayer closet is supposed to be a private sanctum for selfless, intimate prayer with God. And for him to play with it like that, just to me, felt very, very unwarranted and fake. Um, I just felt embarrassed and I was disgraced because I take my prayer closet very serious. And obviously that's not how he does it in his congregation. Do you have a prayer closet, Al? Absolutely. I have a prayer closet, prayer cloth. I got all of them. I need all of the grace of God to help me through. <laughs> I, I'm hearing the video may be old. It's like not may, may not necessarily be like from right now, whether it's old or new or whatever. It just goes with your brand that uh, people that are new to your to your uh, I don't know your ministry. I'm just getting introduced to him for the first time, and I'm like, damn! I hear more about your Rolls Royce and your your jewelry and your clothes than what you actually do for your community. I seen a picture of your Rolls Royce parked right in front of your church, which, like Funky said, it looked uh, it looked like it needed a lot of help. Um, I recently got a, a car, and it's a fan, it's a luxury vehicle, and I. There's certain places I won't go because it feels like I'm bragging or I'm stunning. And you have to kind of be aware of where you're going. Like you wouldn't go to feed the homeless in a pull up in a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. Like I feel like it looks like it's like almost like you're um, trolling or showing off or you just kind of have to be sensitive to what people are going through right now. Can you be happy with your success? Yes. But do you need a stunt on them? Nah, I think that's tacky. I think it's tacky. Pick and choose. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to hear more about this guy's, his wardrobe and his jewelry. And first it was 400,000. Now it's a million. Good luck with that insurance. All right. 